Hello everyone, my name is Tess Dewson. I'm 27 years old and in 2008 I was diagnosed with a rare heart and lung condition, pulmonary hypertension. This means in two months time I'm going to be celebrating my 10th PH anniversary. The reason I've made this video is to show you that even though I have this rare incurable heart and lung condition, I can still live life to the full. I hope you enjoy this video and seeing how far I've come since the day I got diagnosed. So let's go back to the day I was diagnosed. It was January 2008. I sat up in my hospital bed thinking, what the hell is happening to me? I'd just started learning to drive. I was studying music at college and my dream was to go to Southampton University. Little did I know my world would come crashing down around me. I had many tests of cardiac catheterization, lung functions and MRI scans. This was all due to my symptoms of severe breathlessness, severe chest pain and chronic fatigue. I thought my asthma was getting worse. I was wrong. I was very wrong. After my results came through, I was told I had pulmonary hypertension with Eisenmenger syndrome due to a hole in the heart that hadn't closed up. I didn't know what pulmonary hypertension was. My parents didn't know what pulmonary hypertension was. Was I going to die or was I going to live? I couldn't believe I was thinking these questions at such a young age. I then get told it's incurable. I feel like a big black hole was opening up around me and I could not see any light at the end of the tunnel. This was not the future I had imagined all my life at the age of 17 years old. Living with pulmonary hypertension is very difficult. I wake up every morning thinking, am I going to be well for today's plans? Will I need my wheelchair because I'm too breathless? Do I need to take my painkillers because I'm in so much pain? These questions are very difficult to think about and to wake up every day with these running through my mind, it's tough. It's very tough. I get up, I take my medication and I slowly get ready for the day ahead. All day and every day I'm thinking, I've got to get through today. I want to be well. Please let me be well. And to have to think about that when I'm only 27 years old, it's very difficult. Very, very difficult. As I've mentioned, pulmonary hypertension is very rare, but the support that we get is outstanding. We have the PH group on Facebook, where all the members have PH, and we can ask each other questions and generally help each other through day-to-day -day life. We have the PHA UK charity dedicated to us PHers and they work around the clock fighting for the rights that we deserve and anything to do with pulmonary hypertension. And finally we have our PH teams at the hospital. I am very lucky to be under the Royal Brompton Hospital because the PH team are fantastic. I can't thank them enough for everything they have done to get me to where I am today. Their support has been amazing, they've been for me there in person and on the end of the phone and yes, thank you for everything you have done and for everything you continue to do so I can make sure I live life to the full. Pulmonary hypertension can be a very lonely experience, especially when you need to turn to someone through hard times. I am very fortunate to have my family, friends and husband to turn to and to discuss anything related to PH or something different. My family have been there for me from day one. They have supported me throughout my life decisions and I know they will always want the best interest in me. Life can be very tough but when I need them they are there and I love them very very much for everything they do and everything that they are. My friends, I couldn't ask for a better lot of friends. We have a really good laugh together, we try and meet up all the time, and they're just the most supportive friends I've ever imagined in my life. They're there for me in person, they're there for me on the phone, and yeah, thank you for being you and having the friendship that we have. And finally, my husband, Terry. We met a few years ago, but we hit it off from day one. 
I told him to stay away about my heart condition. Many would have run for the hills. Luckily for me, he stayed. In April 2017, we got married. It was the most special day of our lives, and I was well enough to walk down that aisle without any help. I was well enough to have the whole day and enjoy it and not worry about a single thing. The most perfect day every, any bride could imagine. I know times are going to get tough for us in the future, but I know that whatever life throws at us, we're going to get through it together. As well as pulmonary hypertension being rare, it is also invisible for some of us. For me, over the last 10 years, it's been invisible and that's been very good for me because I've been able to get on with my life and no one knows that I have pulmonary hypertension. One benefit of being disabled is that you can have access to the blue badge. I am a blue badge holder, but unfortunately, whenever I park in a blue bay, I get judged. People see me walk out, walking out of my car and thinking, what's wrong with her? Well, as you have heard, I can't breathe, I get pains in my legs, I get severe chest pains, everything that you don't see when I'm out and about, because I've gone out, put my makeup on, and looking normal, as people say. But unfortunately, you have people out there who will judge you whether you're disabled or whether you're not. I deserve this blue badge because I need to get to those entrances as near as possible. So, if you see someone who has a blue badge and no visible disability, then think twice before you make a comment. Finally, I'd like to say thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned a lot about pulmonary hypertension and also that whatever life throws at you, you can get through it. Life is full of obstacles, but if you're like myself, you will overcome them and get through it so you can live life to the full. As the AA Milne quote goes, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. If you want to continue following my PH journey, then please go on blogger.com where my blog, Music Helps Me Breathe, is published, or you can like my Facebook page, Tess and PH, and follow it through that as well. Thank you again for watching, and all the best.